tonight's a great night to get out to Fulton Farmers Market. Absolutely. Yep, they're hosting a market specifically for businesses run by black and indigenous people of color. The BIPOC night, BIPOC night. Uh, at the market, it's going to feature the farmers, the food creators, the concessions, and much more. It's going to run from 6 until 9 with live music. Community organizations will be out there, too. Held, of course, on Fulton Street Farmers Market. If you can't make it out to this one, don't worry. They're going to have another opportunity for you coming up in September. Very cool. Hey, the new Chinook Pier Food Truck Park is going to hold a ribbon-cutting ceremony with the Grand Haven Area Chamber of Commerce at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. The new food truck park features four food vendors, including Lake Effect Kitchen's newly refurbished Harbor Trolley. Then you've also got Crepes by the Lake, Whipped, a brunch truck, Pita on the Pier. Yum. Good food, man. The Chinook Pier, Chinook Pier Food Truck Park is a new venture by the city of Grand Haven to bring more interest and activity to the waterfront area. More information is available at Lake Effect Kitchen. Dot com. Perfect spot right as you get into town there too. Well, the City of Grand Rapids Independence Day fireworks show is happening this Saturday at Anabawan Park along the Grand River. Now there's live entertainment starting at 6 o'clock and the event's free to attend. Fireworks are scheduled to set off at 1030, of course, once it's dark. You can find more information about the fireworks show on our website. It'll be tomorrow, actually. It's all going to start tomorrow. You know, the, the legal, oh, yeah, 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 tomorrow's yeah. the 29th is mm -hmm. when it starts. I'm preparing myself to be extremely tired the rest of the week and next week. There's <laughs> No sleeping. Because the boom, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I think the law says the 29th at 11 a.m. Yeah. Why 11 in the morning would you know. start that? Like, like nobody's going to be setting off fireworks no, at noon. Do you work next Monday? Like on the fourth? No. Okay, see, I do, and there is no sleeping the yeah, night yeah, before. Yeah, this is gonna yeah. be brutal. I, feel, I always felt bad for people who had little kids. Yes. Because that's always the worst. Yes. Little kids or, or those pets that hate the boom yeah, booms. Yeah, it's All hard. Right. Hey, today uh, National HIV Testing Day. So in honor of that. The Kent County Health Department is going to host several events all week where you can find out your status for free. Uh, trying to get away from the often overwhelming setting of a clinic for these, mm -hmm. these events are being held in parks, cool. Kent County Parks. They have two more events this week at Hartside Park and Garfield Park. Now, aside from this week's event, you can always get a free HIV test through the Kent County Health Department just by calling the Fuller Clinic at 616-632-7171 to schedule a test. Very good. Well, Krispy Kreme is making 4th of July celebrations mm. a little bit sweeter. Yum. Look at those. Now, until July 4th, so next Monday, customers who wear red, white, and blue to a participating shop will get a free donut. The donut chain is also introducing new patriotic-themed donuts. The I Heart America collection features four donuts decorated in star stripes and sprinkles, and it comes in a limited edition 4th of July theme Does this box. count? Does yes. This Count? Yes, run All to right. Krispy Kreme. I have red, white, and blue stripes on my socks. You today. just have to walk in doing a handstand so that they see your socks. <laughs> so they can see my socks. All right. <laughs>